the steps for this press conference are so honored that you are here. We are blessed enough to have a voice. We just were voting. We're under a vote right now. This is what we use when we go inside to cast our vote. But the biggest vote in the United States, the biggest voice in the United States is your voice, the voice of the American people. And that's of the wife of our second president, our second president, John Adams. And Abigail Adams wrote in her journals, in her diaries, in her letters, a very personal insight. And she said this. She said, after all we've done, after all that's happened, I wonder if generations unborn will ever know what was done for them. The sacrifice, the toil, the blood, the treasure, the heartache, what was spent to secure their liberty and their freedom. She knew that it was worth the cost. The founders knew that it was worth the cost. And think of where you stand. You literally stand with us on hallowed ground. This is hallowed ground of freedom. Oh. And that freedom was purchased at an incalculable price that none of us can ever truly comprehend. And for 233 years, every generation that has come before has faithfully handed the baton of freedom to the next generation. And so now we are that privileged generation, privileged to be here today, privileged as you stand here in place for other freedom-loving Americans all over the country today who would give anything to be where you are, who would give anything to stand here right now on this hallowed ground. But they are here. Can you feel them? I can feel them. Americans yearning to keep a country that will be free, that for the next 233 generations will go on not only to secure liberty for Americans, but also a place of refuge for those who know nothing but oppression across the world. America is that country for good and freedom. When we came down to this final hour, as the clock is ticking, 11.59 on this health care reform, Speaker Pelosi is poised with her health care bill to take over 18% of the economy. Oh, come on, don't hold back. Tell them how you really Will be here 
will be here on the steps of the United States Capitol. And for anyone who can make it, please come. Join us to stand for freedom. And if it's the last hour, we'll have a meetup for freedom and let our voices be heard. Yeah! One of the very first voices to respond to that call came to my cell phone when I was at home in my living room in Minnesota last Saturday. And it was a true patriot, a true national treasure. As a matter of fact, he starred in a movie called National Treasure. Would you please help me welcome Mr. John Boyd. Yeah.